All right, Michaela, thank you. Now to politics and the battle for the gavel. It has been nearly three weeks of a speakerless House and still no end in sight. Another Republican nominee for the speaker post dropped out earlier today. 17's Jenny Ha joins us in studio now with the latest. Jenny? Tammy, it took five rounds of votes in a closed door Republican conference meeting today to designate Minnesota Republican Tom Emmer as speaker nominee. Yet just hours later, Emmer became the third GOP nominee to drop out of that race. Representative Tom Emmer, the third ranking Republican as GOP whip, stepped out of the race when it became clear he could not get 217 votes on the House floor. Emmer could only lose four GOP votes, but there were more than 20 saying they would not vote for him. Republicans say some lawmakers asked Emmer for assurances he will pursue impeachment inquiries into President Biden and other top cabinet officials. And some criticized Emmer over his support of a same-sex marriage initiative, as well as his voting to certify the 2020 election. Donald Trump made his voice heard on why Emmer as a speaker would be a quote-unquote tragic mistake, calling him a quote globalist rhino, end quote, or Republican and name only, and saying Emmer is totally out of touch with Republican voters. Trump also saying Emmer had never respected Trump's endorsements, quote, or the breadth and scope of MAGA, end quote. Minutes before Emmer dropped out, Trump had called a close source saying, quote, he's done, it's over, I killed him. But Bakersfield Congressman and former Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy had publicly supported Emmer. I think people are tired of all this. I mean, I really go to the core. If you don't deal with the consequences of the eight who worked with all the Democrats to put it in here, putting a new person up each time, we're going to be in the same place we were before. And you got to fix that to start out with. Five GOP speaker hopefuls are now tossing their hats in the ring. That's as of about 4.30 p.m. There are also talks of a co-leadership between McCarthy and former speaker designee Jim Jordan of Ohio. McCarthy would be speaker once again and Jordan the assistant speaker. According to NBC, one GOP lawmaker says this is because the party is desperate. And allegedly McCarthy had two quote-unquote outbursts during the closed-door conference meetings today while objecting to calls to nominate Mike Johnson of Louisiana, who had been the runner-up to Tom Emmer. Per one lawmaker, McCarthy said this isn't how you elect a speaker. The House will next meet Wednesday at 9 a.m. our time, and the GOP conference began another vote just a few minutes ago. In studio, Jenny Ha, 17 News.